Welcome to the Daily Bread Devotional. I'm Allison Walwork, and we are on day 44. I really hope that you have been enjoying these devotionals that have been coming every morning. These are prayerfully to refresh you as you go throughout your day in the Word of God. Well, this week as a church, we are memorizing Matthew 6, which says, seek first God's kingdom and what God wants, then all your other needs will be met as well. I just want to encourage you as you are memorizing this verse this week, that God's kingdom should be our top priority. As followers of Christ, as His believers, this is what He calls us to. He calls us to focus on His kingdom first, and then He attaches a promise to it. That as we focus on His kingdom, then He is going to be faithful to meet all our other needs as well. This is a great verse also to be meditating on as we are gearing up to take the Heart for the House offering this coming Sunday. So I encourage you, as Pastor Luke has asked all of us to do, that you would be prayerful about what God would place on your heart to give towards His kingdom in this season. Well, yesterday during the Daily Bread, we looked at some verses in the book of Ephesians chapter three. And today we are gonna look at a few more right there. Ephesians three, verses 18 through 19. It says, and may you have the power to understand as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to fully understand. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. I love these verses right here. And as this spiritual growth campaign is coming to an end, as it's winding down, my prayer for you is that your journey with the Lord isn't, that your spiritual growth isn't. I hope that this spiritual growth campaign hasn't just been a specified period of time set apart for growth, but that instead that it has been a catalyst that is propelling you forward to a deeper level of growth in your relationship with the Lord. One of my favorite ways to pray throughout the week is to pray the Word of God. And these verse, verses, Ephesians 3, verses 18 through 19, are truly some of my favorite verses to pray over myself and over my family. And so today, what I want to do for all those of you that are listening, wherever you are listening from, I want to take a few moments and pray these verses over you. So I want to ask you to come into agreement with me as I pray this over your life. Lord, I pray that every person listening to this devotional today would have the power to understand how unconditional and extravagant your love is for them. God, I know that your desire is that each one of your children would know this truth to the very core of our beings. I pray that everything in our lives would flow out of this knowledge, would flow out of this understanding that we are loved. Lord, you know it's hard for us to fully grasp the depth of how much you love us. But I pray over all of these viewers that they would experience your love in their daily lives as they seek you. God, that they would experience the depth of your love so that they would be able to live full lives rooted in you. In Jesus' name, amen. We are loved. These verses remind us of that. And I pray and I hope that you would take a moment to receive the love of Christ in your heart today, to allow it to fill up your spirit. Because you know what? God has freely loved us and then He has freely, He's called us to freely give away that love, that we are meant to be conduits of that love, not just a reservoir. So I encourage you, receive the love of Christ. Let it wash over you, let it fill you be refreshed in His love, and then turn around and freely give it out to everyone God places in your path today. Whether it's your family, whether it's your friends, whether it's a stranger, somebody that you cross paths with, let's freely give out the love that God has for us. And as we receive it, and as we give it, we continue to grow spiritually. So be refreshed today. Enjoy this verse. Meditate on this verse. Let it wash over you. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow.